So now that we've had a quick look at what the material editor does in the previous step, now what we'll do is start using this to actually make our material. So you can see here in the middle of our graph, we've got our main material node. And what I'm gonna do is just left click and drag to move that over to the right hand side. And the reason I'm doing it is because all the nodes that will connect will go in here. So uh, they never really go off to the right hand side of it. It all goes to the left. So I'm moving that there just to keep things organized. And what we're gonna use first of all to add color to this material is called a constant three vector node. And what that is, is basically constant means that what the value we give it's gonna stay the same. Three means that there's gonna be three values, uh, three vectors, uh, and each one of those numbers represents uh, a color. So red, green, and blue. So what we're gonna do to add this node is we're gonna go in the search panel of the palette and we're just gonna start typing constant. Uh, and if I, oh, if I spell that right, put a three in, that'll filter out all the others and it'll say constant three vector. And you'll see as well, it also tells you on the right hand side that there's a keyboard shortcut for that, which we'll touch on in later steps. But for now, what I want to do is just drag this from here into the graph. Boo, there it is. Okay, so you'll see that it's zero, zero, zero. That's the three numbers that represent our color. And you should also see that the details panel is now updated. You can see this is highlighted by the yellow border. And in the details panel, we can now see the properties for this. And here's the constant. And this black area here, this black rectangle, is the swatch for this. So we're gonna left click on that and you get the color picker. And what we need to do now is just choose a, a color. So I'm gonna choose green. So we're gonna go for a really sort of simplified grass. So we're just gonna go over here somewhere. Uh, and you'll see that even though I've pulled this over into the green, the color here that it's gonna be still black. And the reason for that is this second slider here. So this one's gone to green, but this one's down here in black, which is really unhelpful. So we're gonna drag that slider up into green and it'll show you the new color that you're gonna have right here. So once you're happy with your shade of green, click on okay. And you should notice that this swatch here on your constant three vector node updates and becomes green. Okay, so that's good. We've now got this node in here, but it's currently not connected to anything. And we need to choose one of these um, inputs here to connect it to. So you can see here, this has an output. That's what this here, it's called an output pin. If we left click and drag, you can see a wire comes off of it and then it wants us to plop it into one of these. But before we do that, I just quickly want to talk about what these represent. So base color represents what color you're gonna use. You've also got a metallic, which is when you plug things into that, you're telling Unreal whether or not this is a metallic material or not. Uh, you've also got things like roughness, which tells it kind of how rough a surface is. And this is part of a PBR rendering workflow, uh, PBR standing for physically based rendering. And I will link to a video explaining what PBR is, what it means. Um, it'll either be one that I found or one of my own. So that'll be up in the top corner. Uh, can I point? Yeah. That'll be in the top corner over there um, and it'll be down in the description below. So I do recommend checking that out. Right, so once you've got an understanding of what that's all about, what we're gonna do is left click on the output of this and we're gonna drop it into the base color and then let go. There we go, right. Now, on yours, you should see this turn green. But what I've done is I've purposely made it so that mine doesn't, just in case yours doesn't as well, so you know what's gone wrong. So what I turned off before I started this video is this button up here in the toolbar called Live Preview. And what that will do is will update whenever you make a change. And you see, I've just made a change here, but this didn't update because this is turned off. So we'll turn Live Preview on. You can see now this is refreshing, and when it's done refreshing, it goes green. So hopefully yours went green in the first place, but if it ever doesn't, make sure you've got Live Preview turned on and that will update. Okay, so that's as far as I want to go with this material so far. Don't worry, in future steps, this is gonna get more complex. Um, but just for now, what I want to do is save it. So you can see just up here, we've got a little asterisk at the end of our material name, and that's telling us that this has not yet been saved. So we're gonna save it. So up here in the toolbar, click on save, click. Okay, it should, there we go. It brings up this thing here to tell us what's happening can take quite a while to save uh, materials. I'm not really sure why. Uh, there we go, that's now saved, so we're done. Okay, so the next step will cover how we assign this material to our landscape. So I'll see you there for that.
Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.